Hey guys, welcome back to the BMW Black YouTube channel and welcome to a new video with the BMW iX M60. In this video, I'm going to show you the charging time from 10 to 80% with the iX M60. Temperature-wise, 51 degrees outside, so it's not optimal, but the battery was preconditioned. So we should be able to get some quick electrons into the battery and get plenty of range uh, in a very, very short time. So let's see how the car does with the charging curve and all of that. Capacity 195 kilowatts. The charging station can do 350. So I'm expecting 195, 190 to start off with. And then let's see if that's going to maintain the same level or not. And we're going to take a look when it's going to taper off as well. So. All right, so here we go. We started at 10%. So let's see. At five minutes and then at 10 minutes, we're gonna check at 20 minutes to see what's the charge. So, so far it's up to 11%. 191, let's see if it gets up to 195. All right, so still delivering at 190 kilowatts. There is another car parked right next to me, so maybe that's why it's cutting the power a little bit. But nonetheless, it's pretty close to the 195. All right, so here's the two minutes mark. So, so far I went from 10 to 16% in about two minutes from 28 miles to 43 miles. We're gonna check in at five minutes. All right, so it looks like the thermal in the battery reached the optimal temperature. So 195 kilowatts at the four minutes mark, 22% from 10%, 28 miles to 58 miles in four minutes. All right, so now it's exactly five minutes. So we went from 10 to 24% in five minutes from 28 miles of range to 65. As you can see, it's charging at 195 kilowatts. So it looks like the battery reached the optimal charging temperature. So right now it should give us some kilowatts quite, quite quickly. We're gonna check in next at the 10 minutes mark to see if the charging rate will drop. This is one important thing that you want to change in your iX or i4 or i7 or i5. If you go to charging, you're going to go to fan loudness and you want to make sure that it's set to unrestricted so that way it can give you the faster charging capability immediately. All right, so 10 minutes of charging. Here we go, 37% from 10% and 99 miles from 28 miles so here we go 100 miles at the 10 minutes mark so we put in uh, 72 miles in just 10 minutes so this is where fast charging really really works well because you can get some quick snack charging in there you don't need to wait past the 80 percent you can always find the next charging station uh, plug in for 10 minutes if it's available and then get plenty of range to get going so sometimes it's better to just unplug at 80 85 percent find a level 2 charging station if you really want to go to 100 percent and just get that going with a level 2 or you can plan your route in such a way that you can find another charging station to quickly plug in and get some miles into the car right now it's charging at 164 course we're going to take a look at the graph inside the app so that way we'll have an idea exactly how we taper off and what actually happened there okay so this is exactly 15 minutes in 10 percent to 48 percent 28 miles to 128 so i managed to get 100 miles into the battery pack in 15 minutes as you can see temperature outside is 51 degrees fahrenheit so not ideal but still plenty of range in just 15 minutes it did start to drop so i'm only getting about 138 kilowatts right now i started at 190 195 but now it will start slowly to taper off and drop and then um, we'll see when it drops below 100 kilowatts okay so 20 minutes in 57 percent 153 miles charging at 122 kilowatts so quickly dropping and of course i expect it to drop even more in the next five to ten minutes but let's see if we can get this 10 to 80 
in less than 35 minutes. So here I am at the 25 minutes mark, 66%, 175 miles. I'm still charging above 100 kilowatts, 114 exactly. So that's actually really, really good. It's telling me that in about 50 minutes, I should be able to reach 100%, but of course I'm gonna disconnect at 80% because we care about that time. Still cold outside, 51 degrees, so not your optimal temperature, but nonetheless, it's doing really well right now. The 30 minutes update, 73%, 195 miles, still charging at almost 100 kilowatts. All right, BMW iX, let's go. 79%, 34 minutes. You can see it right there. So let's see if we're gonna come below the 35 minutes mark. 79%. Charging at 76 kilowatts, which is really good still. 34 minutes, 34 minutes. Come on, let's go BMW iX, you can do this. Once again, 52 degrees outside, so a little bit chilly in Chicago today. 35 minutes mark just passed. So probably between 35 and 36. 80%, so here we go. Still showing 35 minutes, so somewhere between 35 and 36 minutes. And here we go. We have 80%, 212 miles. Once again, we started with 28 miles and 10%. So now we're gonna stop the charging station and take a look at the graph. All right, so let me stop it now. You can see 80%, 83 kilowatts hours in, 36 minutes, almost $40. I'm gonna stop it right now because as you can see, even though I'm charging at 76, 75 kilowatts, I could probably leave this one for another five minutes and then uh, we'll see if it's actually worth keeping it. But as I said, you know, usually 80 to 85%, and that's kind of where I cut it off, and I just drive away. Still getting 75 kilowatts, not bad. Here we go, $40 even, almost 85 kilowatts hours, 37 minutes. You can see the full details right here. I was not using the My BMW app, so that's why they charged me $40. If I was using the uh, my BMW app with a two free year plan, it would have been free, but I was afraid that it's gonna cut off at 30 minutes in, so I'm not gonna be able to do the full test, so I ended up having to pay for this one. Uh, of course, I have a 10 minutes grace period, but we're gonna unplug and wrap this up and take a look at the graph as well. So my BMW iX M60 comes with the latest update when it comes to the charging performance. I reached out to the BMW engineering team to find out more about this. And they told me that there are a few improvements that were done to the charging capability of the car. For example, there is a reduction of DC charging time of about three minutes at cold temperatures. And of course asked, what's a cold temperature? They define cold temperatures 15 to 23 Celsius and this applies when you charge the car from 0 to 80%. Next, there is an improvement of load management at the charging station. BMW says that in the past, if there were two cars plugged in sharing the same 150 kilowatt station, maybe the iX would only get 70 kilowatts of charge. If the other car would unplug, then the iX would still stay at 70 kilowatts. But with the latest update, the iX would actually go back to the full 150 kilowatts, or in my case today, that will be 195 kilowatts. Lastly, there is another improvement when it comes to charging at high state of charge. That's about 40%. BMW says that right now, the car will show the customer the maximum possible charging capability in the first few minutes, even when the battery is cold. So these are some of the latest updates when it comes to the charging curve of the BMW iX M60. Of course, I asked them which cars will actually get the upgrade. They're still looking into that, but essentially it will either be by model year or production month or by the latest OTA update. As soon as I find out more, I'm gonna put more information in the description of this video.